the casket carrying the remains of the former vice president Genom Staffa Adris was brought to parliament, taken into the parliament chambers at 11 a.m. <laughs> In a special session of parliament that sat this morning, the Prime Minister Mama Mbaba's paid glowing tribute to General Adresi, who was Vice President during Amin regime. Greetings were enforcing history among soldiers. Mustafa was very strict on smartness of soldiers. Mustafa was described by many as a patriotic Ugandan who worked tirelessly to instill discipline in the army and the development of the country at large. General Mustafa broke a wish that has permeated this country, particularly in West Nile, when he invited General Gamuze to come back home and he was our cultural reference. When we told the Donald the Donald National School Front, we had to consult him first. It is with his blessing that we form this organization. Jimbo was not only a military man, he was also a social developer. But the biggest tribute that I want to put to this man, when he was chief of staff, he was better adamant than every soldier gives himself to a folk in his village. It was also revealed that Mustafa was not just a good soldier and politician, but he also ensured that the national football team was well facilitated when he was the country's vice president. Our national team, the Uganda Fleet, participated after qualifying in the 1978 Africa Cup of Nations where Uganda became second when they were defeated in final by the host Ghana and he was the vice president. President Yoweri Museveni made a surprise appearance at Parliament to pay his last respect. He described him as a decent man who worked with the bad regime. General Mustafa, who succumbed to hypertension on Sunday, was vice president between 1977 to 1978. He will be laid to rest on Wednesday in Kerry Village, Koboko District. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.